Hey everyone, how's it going? Got a lot of thermoses to show everyone. I have some like talking points about thermoses, like can you get parts, uh, how you protect your thermoses, ease of opening your thermoses, are they, um, is the opening big enough, how's the feel in the hand, are they easy to clean, all this kind of stuff. But um, if you have questions, just fire them away because that will work equally as well as me just uh, just talking like crazy about thermoses. Um, they're actually behind me. Uh, they're all in boxes behind there. Well, and over this way as well. Where did I got them? Ah, my chair's blocking it. But yeah, there's lots of, and there's on the ground as well. So let me see if I can break out some thermoses. Uh, okay, so. I got, I've actually never used this one. Um, a lot of these thermoses, by the way, I'll be giving away locally to, um, there's a um, homeless nonprofit that uh, we did a video with in the past. So uh, that's, if you're wondering, what am I doing with all these thermoses? Yeah, I'll be giving virtually all of them away, whether it's to the nonprofit or there's some friends and family that needed some thermoses as well. So they'll be pretty happy with that. Um, hello. From Brazil, if there's any thermoses you want to specifically ask about that you saw in the video, let me know and I can pop it out. Otherwise, maybe I'll just be, you know, pulling out a thermos at a time and talking about it. I kind of feel like I need a stand for my thermos, so let me see if I can get one up. Hold on. Here we go. It's like a display for the thermos. <laughs> there we go. So this thermos is actually something you can get in Japan and it has this uh, top like this but it's it's American thermos actually so I think you unscrew this a little bit and then you can pour out your your hot drinks so I'm assuming this will keep things hot for a long time and it's meant for hot drinks that's why you have the cup um, Jen really wants to keep this one but we have a Zojirushi version version that um, is similar so I'll show you the Zoji Ruji, Ruji version. So this one, I've had this one for many, many years, and we honestly hardly use it because, um, I don't know, it's, we don't really go camping. And we go on picnics, we'll bring hot drinks, that's about the only time. And so this has a cup like this. And the top is like that. Open it up, pour it out. I'm assuming they'll perform fairly sim similarly in terms of hot retention. So it has a strap instead of a handle to hold it. And do you cover swell bottles? No, I don't even know what that means. And Vancouver, Toronto, Cali, Brazil, nice. Okay, so those are these types. got all these these ones are american ones let me see if i have another one over here yeah soups i don't know soups you gotta be really careful with because i know there's some that they're not designed for liquids that could expand potentially and like if you open it up it'll just blow everywhere and you get a whole bunch of hot soup in your face so i think you gotta be careful with soups but I do have one that's for picnic. Hold on. So this is actually a thermos branded one. Yeah. And then you open it like this. This is not soups, actually. This is uh, just keeping things hot. So it just has like that. So we, oh, this one we could put a I think a soup because it has, um, what is that? A rubber gasket around it. So you could put soup in this, I suppose, in this layer. So this is when he goes on a field trip, maybe. Put it, maybe this one's for soup. He has like a pressure valve, I think, is what you need to release the pressure. Yeah, something like that. So it has three different levels for uh that stuff so i have this this one and this one over here right this one doesn't have a good seal 
but I think this one might be for soups um, in this whole container. So this is a, something you'd take camping or picnic or like a excursion somewhere in Soka. And hello? My wife's opening the door, pretending she's not here. What, what, you, what would you like? <laughs> no, she's just spying on me. Okay, she won't show her face though, so don't worry. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. You're having a bit of a rough day, nearly got hit by another driver changing lanes. Oh, that sucks. Uh, okay. Why do you suppose Japanese thermoses are generally lighter? Are they typically aluminum? No, they're stainless steel as far as I know. Um, so these are American ones, and so the weight, I think this one's like around 400 grams. I thought without the handle, this is like 360 if my memory's correct. Somewhere just under that range. And with the handle, it actually weighs a lot more. But let me pull out some Japanese equivalents. Uh, what do we got? Um, this one. And maybe I should just point this down a little more. Yeah, you can see my, this is called Steteko. It's um, kind of like summer wear, night wear type of thing. Okay, so we got this. Uh, hold on. So. Another type, and another type, and another type. Okay, so okay, so to answer the question of why they're lighter, actually, you know what? I can move on. I have a desk that moves up and down. I'm such an idiot. Should have just done that. <laughs> move back up. There we go. Okay. Um, I think it's because you carry them ar out around a lot in Japan because it's um. You're you're going. You're not. You're taking public transportation a lot, or your in your bike or something, or in your purse. Um, so you want something that's lighter. Um, it's definitely something people look for. Uh, the weight is often advertised. I don't know if this one's exactly it, but they're like, this is the lightest one. It's 190 grams. I mean, all these types of tops. Uh, you can put hot stuff in there and cold, and they have a, a lid that will be good for both. And um, they're around 200 grams, each of them, which, uh, what is 200 grams? I have my conversion chart over here, um, but not that good of a one. Mm, seven and seven-ish ounces, probably? Seven ounces, I think. Yeah, so these ones are almost double the weight. Um, this is an older one we have, and you can see this would be for drinking as well. So American ones, they always have like a top where you can drink from. But I found a lot of the Japanese ones, it's just if you want to drink hot drinks, then they just have a wide open top and then you can actually take off that rubber gasket and clean it. So the rubber gasket, I think, makes it just a little bit easier to drink like on your mouth. That's why they have it, I believe. But they have a different version over here And what they did is they made the rim nicer to drink from. So it's really, really simple design. And this one's very light as well. I think it's 250 grams, this one. And this one, if you want the spout, you can have this version. So you have all these different types for hot drinks. And they're all, um, I found the Japanese ones, they always have it where you want it to be light but also you want the tops to be protected so you can um, keep the spots clean, but also if you throw it into your bag, it's not going to leak everywhere. Leak proof is a huge thing. Okay, so... Heavy equals quality. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. So heavy equals quality. So this is a Yeti, and I honestly thought it would be much better at the retaining heat. But when I did the tests, it was actually not that great. And probably, probably because the top is not as insulating as other tops can be. Um, but I think with a wider design, it's um, if you had a thinner cup, it actually insulates better, I think. That's my theory. Um, but also, I didn't find any correlation between weight and 
it actually being better thermally. Uh, oh, thermos cleaning device. <laughs> Open up a thermos museum. No, I'm, I'm giving them away. Um, my favorite go-to brand depends on what I'm drinking. But um, I'll just finish with these American ones. Um, so this one's actually an American one that you can get in Japan. So you can see it has all these Japanese. It's a Japanese version. But over here, it's the exact same one, but you know, it's, this is how it's marketed towards Americans. It has a handle. <laughs> My wife's taking pictures of me now. I don't know what she's doing. Do I need help? No, I'm fine. <laughs> um, but what what should I found when we had these like this, especially this one, is when you it's really hard to drink from, even though it should be easy, and you don't know when it's open or closed, even though it has a marking. But you figure it out when it's when it's only black, that's open, and when it's white, it's closed, I believe. But it was too hard to drink from. Um, I mean, if I'm going to go with these ones, these ones are spill proof roughly. I don't know if I trust it leaking my, in my bag though. So I'd rather go with completely sealed version or if I'm at home, just like the Yeti or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna take these ones down and put them back in the pocket belt pile. Okay. Yeti's supposed to survive a car fire. Uh, favorite go-to brand, that depends on what I am doing, but um, this is my favorite one. I talked about it in the video, Zojirushi. This is for like kind of general all-purpose, does hot and cold. Um, but for a sports bottle type, it would be, where is it here? This one, Thermos. Um, they're, they're everywhere in the, in the sports fields, if you see, because they come with these carrying cases, which are so handy. Um, cause what happens is on the bottom, it has a nice flat bottom. So when you put it down somewhere, it, um, it makes it not shake around on the table. So I found so many carrying cases that not really meant to sit on a table. Uh, but this one, it'll be just fine. And it comes included, so you don't have to buy this case extra. So it's a really good value if you actually plan on using the case. And then you can just strap it around yourself and take it. So I think uh, for kind of uh, just pure water bottles, Thermos is probably the most popular in Japan. Um, yeah, so I guess Dojirushi and Thermos. Okay, food thermoses. My opinion on food thermoses. I mean... They're great if you want to use them for that. The only pain in the butt is having to clean them. So uh, I generally don't go out that much, honestly. So I don't use them very often. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, can I share the link for the cleaning device? It's in the description. So you can, you can check out that link. I have it right here, too. Let me find it. It's right here. Um, unfortunately, it seems you can only buy from, like, say, Japanese Amazon. So I don't know if there's any other places you can get it in other countries around the world. But um, I had never known about this before. So my reactions in the video were my, like, that was my first time ever trying them out. Uh, they were my natural, like, wow, this is so cool. It cleans it really well reaction. So it's amazing the job it can do. Um, and if you have something that's really, really dirty, it might take a couple of rounds to do it. But even just a mildly dirty one, you just press the button, wait three minutes, and it's just rinse it out. It's done. So it's pretty cool. Um, and how does it work? I don't know. I thought maybe somebody with some type of, you know, background in chemistry or some sciences might know because it has this powder that you get. And I tried just putting the powder in without this, which I'm assuming is given an electrical current and using like the stainless steel to like conduct it or, or whatnot, but like this has to touch the rim and it activates this powder somehow. So they're really cool. Um, yeah, but this is actually from Thermos itself. 
It's not just like some type of bleach thing. So if anybody has any good explanations about how this works, you can let us all know. Okay. Electrolysis. Uh, yeah, it's battery power. It's battery power. I showed it in the video, but I'll just break it open now. Kirkland. You know, Costco over here, so Kirkland. Although most batteries I use, I use um, the like Eneloop or Panasonic ones, rechargeable ones, but for the AAAs, I just don't use them enough that I just buy the um, disposable ones. It uses citric acid, really. It's battery power. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna show you a few of the boxes here. What we got? Here, maybe we'll move this closer and down. What? And we got this one. This one over here, and this one over here. Okay. So these are, this one here is the one that's designed for cages. Do you see that? And um, I, kn I didn't know it exists. I mean, I know they're, like, I mean, used to cycle before, like, not seriously when I was young, um, like a teenager. And we had those plastic water bottles that fit into cages, but I just never knew there was like a solid bottle that would fit in cages. But it um, it does, and it works quite well. Where is this thing? Over here. And it has a really nice metal finish. It's like a it's a matte finish, but it's like really grippy, and it has this grippy thing over here, and it just slots really just perfectly in the cage um, for cold water. So the problem was that this was getting really beat up because they kept on putting it in and out of the cage and it would just mess up this case here. But you can see all these, everything comes in a box uh, in, in Japan, but when I ordered the American style, they just came like on their own. Like this was the American style that I got. It just, this is the case. So I guess that's more eco-friendly in that way. Um, yeah, but that's a look at the cases. Let me throw these cases aside. By the way, um, so someone asked me about brands, right? Well, the thermos, um, whatever you want to call these travel mugs are, I don't know, all-purpose drink containers. These versions here, I, I don't like them as much. So I recommend the sports one with, that comes with the bag. But these ones, get the Zosirushi instead. It's a much better opening. And actually in... At least for America, I know. This one's, I think, like 27 US dollars. So it's not too bad, the pricing. Um, but it's way easier to open. Like These ones are kind of uh, menduksai, like a pain in the butt to open. OK. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> you guys are trying to find the cleaner, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Is it easy to get Japanese thermos in America? You can, but I wouldn't say it's easy. Do you want to come, Shin? No. Okay. I'm fine. You're fine. Shin's just, just, just watching me it. over here behind. <laughs> um, let's see here. Yeah, you can get Japanese thermos, but I wouldn't recommend buying the ones that I showed. Showed because they're they're really expensive in America, from what I saw. So. This Soji Rishi one is actually not too pricey in America, so I'd probably go with something like this. The other thing you want to consider is the availability of parts. So um, I'll show you with a Soji Rishi that doesn't have water in it. I got these two ones, and I think these are actually the American model is this one, and this is the new model. So I think it's harder to get this one in America than to get this one. Um, and they actually have different tops, but you could lose a top or lose a gasket. So I'm going to show you all the parts here. Hold on. So you can actually buy replacement parts for these in Japan. So I've done that a few times before. If they've gotten moldy or something like that, or just lost them. 
And that's something to consider is if you can easily get the replacement parts or not. So in Japan, it's really easy to get them. You just order on Amazon, you get it the next day. But I don't know what it's like in the States. Have you had issues cleaning Zoshirushi until you demoed the cleaner? So the Zoshirushi, I only use it for water, so it never, never gets that dirty. But also, I forgot to mention this. Or I did at one point in the video, but I just cut it out. It has, um, it's like a Teflon-like coating. I don't think officially you can call it Teflon. But essentially, it doesn't let things stick to it that well. So it's never really gotten that dirty. And I just use a brush like, hold on. Like this. I mean, you can buy this in anywhere in the world, I believe. And so you just throw it in and, well, it actually has a, another layer, right? And that'll be good enough. But for like the coffee stains and whatnot, the special cleaner is awesome. Okay. Rona season. Rona season over here, which is coronavirus, it's, um, yeah, it's kind of reappeared. Not reappeared, but like kind of second wave here in Japan. So unfortunately, it's, um, you got to stay at home a lot. Yeah. Okay, Zoshi so Rishi thermoses are $50 in Canada. Yeah, that's really pricey. Because this, you can get it for, what is it, Nissan, like 2,000 yen-ish, which, uh, I don't know, what's the conversion rate on that? So 2,000 yen to Canada, Canadian is, yeah, like $25, and that includes taxes. That's what you can buy them for in, Canada, in uh, Japan. So for $25, it's a good deal. For $50, I don't know. Um, plus you might want to buy a case for it. So um, then it's even more expensive. So you might be better off with the local option. Uh, you know, a good website to purchase that is Thermoses in North America. I'm sure people in the chat will let you know. But um, yeah. There you go. Uh, what about the, okay. Yeah, so this is something I had showed at the end of the video with the can in it. Um, but I actually have never used it for the can yet. What I've used it for is just a, a lighter version of a, uh, something you have at home. So using this screw, not screw, it's just a, you pop it on the lid. And it's like a 360 lid, lid so you can drink from anywhere, which is actually handier than you can think. But the thing I like about it is it has this rubber pad on the bottom. So it doesn't, um, like, ruin you know, anything you put it on and it makes it softer and and i think even if you slightly drop it it makes it less likely that it'll start doing that shake because that's the one thing that i've had is i had these a lot of metal containers where inevitably you just like drop it off and falls on the ground gets a dent and then it's always shaking around and i'll show you So like this, this was like one a favorite of mine. This is like a knockoff thermos. And um, got those two big dents. This one's not so bad. So I think the shake is not horrible. Yeah, but it still has a bit of a shake. So now like I, I purely just use stuff that will have something protective on the bottom like this, or that you can put a case on like this to protect it. So I have, where's my other one? Oh, here we go. So this thermos, this one has a removable, I think it's silicon, and it's so handy to protect it. There. Actually, I have to take this up a little higher. There we go. Yeah. I'll put these brushes out of the way. This comes off really easily. But yeah, my bottom is protected, see? The only problem is, though, is with this silicon is, see if I hit it, it just slides across the table. But with the silicon bottom, if you hit it, it'll, it actually makes it easier to knock down with that. So just be careful if you get one of these things. This table is getting so crowded, but I almost went through all the thermoses here. So let's see. Got a few left. 
Stanley brand thermoses. Yeah, I should have tried one of those Stanley brand thermoses. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, so this, I've shown this one before, but so this model and this model are actually the same model. And so this one, what it has, it has the hot drinks top. That's Chin's fingers. <laughs> and you pour it in the cup. I don't think we really use this much. So we usually have it in this configuration, which is the cold water configuration with a spout that looks like that. And so these are a really good deal because I think they're like 3,300 yen. And uh, they do both. They're quite lightweight, come with the case, and come with the second head. So it's a pretty good deal. Oh, the Asian face. <laughs> what is the max cap flask you can buy, which will fit in the in a bag? Um, I put the link to it in the description. There's a bit, it's for a Japanese website, so um, you can find it. And uh, people saying hi, Shin. Hi, Shin Chan. Yeah, go more Shin Kun. And one people saying, oh wow, this is a cool table. But where you buy this table, Daddy? I bought it from. <laughs> My friend in Hokkaido. Oh. You know Mitsubishi? Yeah. Yeah, he owns a shop. Okay. Oh, these are kind of cute. Hold on. Okay, so this is actually the same type of top model, like that. Except it's just a lot kind of sleeker of a design. So this is something maybe you throw into your purse or bag or whatnot. Actually, that's something I did want to mention was that for thermoses, the reason I started going heavily with Japanese brands was because they were very thin. And I find when you're traveling like on the like Shinkansen or an airplane and you put it in the pouch, it's um, thinner is actually really nice in the back of the seat because uh, I used to use this one all the time for my water. So I use, it's really dented up. This one I didn't use case. And it, it's really wide, so it's it's good on the table, you know. Um, a bit slower to open, which is actually a very big consideration if it's slower, fast to open, right? Versus like, oh wait, that's locked. Sorry. You gotta test these things out, you know. Versus this, it's just not as crispy. I don't know. Anyways. Um, this is way too thick to put in um, the back seats of things, as well as in I had in the side pocket of my um, my bags and other stuff. It just didn't fit fairly well. So maybe in um, a North American car, this might be a great fit. But in Japanese cars and places, this is such a better fit. And it's almost the same type of... Um... No, I shouldn't say. This one carried 800 milliliters. I was going to say it's almost the same amount of capacity, but no, this one's only 480. Or is this one's 800? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Thanks. I, I didn't even know I had like super chat enabled. Thank you so much for the uh, the super chats, uh, oh. Irvin and Farah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and Daddy, I have a different video. People I know yeah. that have a super chat. Like, like some super chat is like not like like all saying like not like 100 dollars. No, I mean. Like ten dollars. People something. can give it's whatever like, they want. I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. But some people would like to do like ten. Um, <laughs> like twelve dollars and stuff. Yeah. And uh, since counting, <laughs> so thirty percent. The money will go to the YouTube. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. 30% of the yeah. money will go to YouTube. Honestly. I wanted to say that. Yeah. So this is... If I was in America and I needed a, a bottle for kids, I would I would go for this one. This one's not bad. The only thing is... So Shin likes this little handle, right, Shin? Yeah, Here, so yeah. show it off, Shin. Here, you hold it. Okay. Right? But I, I prefer, like, having the case because you can sling... I mean, I see it's... Brand, I haven't even used it. Besides for our you know, drinking test. And 
But it's just, it, it's lighter, but it has, I like the carrying case that comes with it. You can easily carry it around. But look, the, take a take option. Show the bottoms how they're different. This one's very yeah. removable. Yeah. And this is the kind of how so only show, this, yeah, this, this place. The straw is a hard move. straw. This one's a flexible one. Only this place will I don't, this place. We didn't notice any differences when we're drinking it. I don't know if it comes like the very like last part of the drink, if it actually makes a difference, this type of thing. But when we were actually just doing our drink test, we didn't find there was much of a difference between the two different straw types. She has nicer nails, yeah, I'm sure. Nails? Oh, that's crazy nails? long nails. I've been yeah. wanting to cut them. Do you want to model this thermos there? So, I was asking people with kids about thermoses, and so the reason I got these two ones is because uh, if you go to like a daycare center, these, show the other one. Yeah, yeah. These are the two most popular ones you'll see, is, is these two types. They're like everywhere, so. And these are both thermos brand ones. They're everywhere. Uh, how's school working in Japan? It's how's school, Shin? Um, at the school it's normal, but they quit. I'm gonna bring a paper. Wait, do you have a paper or a pen or something? Paper or pen? Uh, just go right? bring one. I think. Yeah. Okay. Quit. The orange one's cute. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Shin's gonna talk about schools in a second here. Um. What else we don't hear? What are some of popular thermos brands in Japan that you've seen? I think just Zozirushi Thermos and um, Tiger are the most popular brands by far. Um, if you go to any stores and whatnot, I think those are the three standards. You might find some other types in other places, but generally that's it. Um, ooh, battery powered cleaner on eBay, 29 USD. Wow. It cost about. Ten dollars in Japan for the starter pack for that cleaner, for this thing. But it doesn't come with a lot of the cleaning powder. Um, it comes with a little bit, but you have to buy the cleaning powder too, which costs um, more money. So this big cleaning pack. I wish I could remember how much it cost me. I don't know if it was like five hundred yen, maybe roughly. Um, but yeah, this will do a lot because I did a whole bunch of bottles and I still have at least half of it left. So. I think it will easily, easily last you, I mean, a year. What's the best thermos for lunchboxes? I don't know. Oh, thank you to so Super Chat. Oh, thanks to Nora for the Super Chat. Thank you. And at the school, uh, this side is the school we don't have corona. Else, this is the tables and the people. I was like, I don't know how to say, but it was like this. And no, if, it, if the corona was, it's not like, it's like a... Your farther away now? Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. more distance. So yeah. you used to be closer together, but yeah, now you're like farther this, away? But now it's like this in kind. Yeah. And other people have masks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sta uh, staggered. You, I don't think it's staggered. Like, you still have every single kid is in a chair, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they, they're not doing, like, half classes or anything like that. They're just more distance oh, and between. And all the time we didn't put masks, but except the... Eating? If we, yeah, eating, and if we're doing... Oh, oh, if you're doing gym class. Yeah, gym class. And if you're playing outside. It's so huge, big, so we can put out off mask, mask. But if you're close together, you need to put mask on. Yeah, but schools essentially, they only had a two-week break for the whole summer. So they had a break last week, or sorry, about a week ago, they've been off for about a week now, and then after another week, they go back to school. Um, so only two weeks of summer vacation, and they're essentially, since June, they started going back to school. Yeah. Hey, Shin, what's your what? favorite school subject, they're wondering? Oh, I like gym class and making stuff at school. You have to look this so, so gym class and the school thing we didn't make. Oh, like art class? Yeah, art class. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, someone's yelling. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Wait. Sega? Why did you write Sega? Oh, I like Sega. <laughs> you like Sega? That's not school, Sega. Look, Sega. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, yeah, cases are rising in Japan. Um, That's nothing. Mommy just said, like, like I didn't know how to say our class. Oh, our class, yeah, so okay. Class. Yeah, cases are rising in Japan, and unfortunately, it's um, not really supposed to travel out of the out of Tokyo, so just being stuck at home, especially since it's been really hot lately. Um, okay, I think the last couple things I was going to talk about here. These bottles. Yeah. So this looks like a vacuum flask, but I don't think it actually is because it doesn't keep the temperature that well. And this is just like a free giveaway from Uniqlo. Maybe you bought enough stuff. I mean, this shirt's from Uniqlo. <laughs> I think this shirt Shin's wearing from Uniqlo too. Oh, yeah. So it's, 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 it's a big difference whether you get a vacuum insulated flask versus just a regular one like this. And our friend in England has brought us this one. It's in our cup. My clothes is Uniqlo, Daddy. It's like made of recycled materials. And so that's cool. But I realized it's it, from versus the the stainless steel vacuum flasks. It doesn't keep drinks nearly as hot when I was doing my testing. So interesting difference. And this is probably what I used a lot in like versions of this kind of plastic water bottle in Canada. But I mean, it doesn't keep your water cold. And um, what's the other reason I don't use these anymore? Oh, they, they can. Perspire, I think sometimes out of here get condensation, but that's I think straws too are kind of annoying. Oh yeah, the plastic taste from the yeah yeah because you leave this in um, your car or something like place sunny, and you get that plastic taste in the water bottle. That too, with the vacuum flask, you don't get that type of thing. So this is really interesting. This is a newer model of thermos, and this is 250. So this is very easily to put into like a handbag or something like that. And you don't notice that it's so easy to like twist off. Like they work so much on just a little thing like that that you just do it in one. Put it back on. It's, I don't feel it's as smooth though. See? Have you tried this one out, Shin? This like it's just. Well, you don't oh, have to go yeah. wrench on it. You just yeah. do it really lightly. Is this somebody did super chat to us? Yeah, they did. Oh, then thank you. Yeah. It's just a, it's a little difference, right? I mean, but if you just really want to drink, you can't take it off in one twist, right? You have to do two and then three twists. Whereas this, you can do in a single. Um, yeah, and then plus, they actually improved the spout. Oh. Wait a sec. This one catches ice, which, which I guess is, is nice. This one probably wouldn't, but it's just easier to clean, I think. And this one you can do 250, 350, or 500 um, of this model, depending on you know how big you want it. But the price doesn't really change that much, I noticed. So no matter what size you get, um, to a certain degree, a lot of these lines, they're, they're the same price. So I know for this one, you can get 360, 480, 600, and the price is almost identically the same. Uh, coffee container. I don't drink coffee that much, but coffee. my tea pot drink that I would put milk in or something like that container, it's um, right now there are these two. So the Yeti that I just got um, versus the thermos. This one can hold almost 600 milliliters, I think, and this one's only 420. So it uh, depends on how much liquid I want to consume. I mean, the Yeti is better slightly at keeping things hotter for longer by a few degrees an hour. Um, but it's not, I mean, that significant if you're at home, right, drinking coffee. Like, how long does it take you to drink something? Uh, this one's significantly lighter. so. If I switch back from here to here, it's just so much different, the weight. It's really quite shocking. Um, if I was re reincarnated as a thermos, which would you be? Good question. This one for sure. Um, it's 100 degrees here, and I need something to keep ice water from melting. Oh, you know what? I actually had this problem a lot. I mean, in Japan right now, it's 
Uh, I don't know what 100 degrees Fahrenheit is, but I'm assuming it's somewhere in the 30 degrees Celsius range. When it's really hot, I was using this kind of one with a case, and it keeps, like, you put ice in there, even it's like, you know, in the, I guess, probably around the hundreds, um, and then you're outside. If you put ice in here, it'll still be ice, like, six, eight hours later. So it's incredible. What are you doing with your fingers? <laughs> um, yeah, so get one of these thermos. That, if that's if you can get this Japanese version or not. Um, but I think if you're in America, yeah, I guess people in the chat could probably recommend some that are better priced. I know hydro flasks are really popular over there. Um, and Takia, I think, is rel relatively inexpensive, and that seems to be well-reviewed as well. Um, milk tea brand. Milk tea? Yeah, what is my favorite milk tea brand? I like Royal. Well, yeah, Royal, but that's not a brand. That's the type, oh. Royal Milk Tea. But um, I have to get the container. I, I don't like even... Blue I just know by the logo. I can't remember who makes it, honestly. Um, and... Afternoon tea, mommy says. Afternoon tea? Is that a brand? I don't think that's I don't a know. brand. I think afternoon tea is like... Is it like Asahi, food? Kirin? Like who makes it? Coca-Cola? Oh, uh, my wife thinks it's Kirin, the brand. I wish I had that. It's a really nice uh, container. I wish I had it to show you. Um, which thermos do you think will last longest? Oh, do you mean like, Anton, do you mean the... Um, Keep things hot or cold the longest, or will actually like not break down for the longest. But so I think those are two different things, um, or it could be two two different things. I think these types of thermoses, they, I mean, we've had them for a long time, but the kids don't use them as much because they're pretty huge. They're one liter. So, um, but these styles, especially because they have the case, they last easily a decade for sure. Um, but if you don't use a case, this is what happens to them. Because I use this every single day, and eventually it falls out of my bag, it falls on the ground, everywhere, and it gets uh, bent up. So I always recommend a case now. <laughs> um, does my apartment have air foam? Yeah, yeah, it's right above me. Hold on. Right up there. And so air cone, how they work in Japan is that you have one for each room. It's not centralized. At least most places don't have centralized. I think you can get centralized if you want, but it's very uncommon. Um, yeah, so in some ways that's annoying because if you're, you kind of tend to stick to the certain rooms, not when to leave them, um, just because the other rooms like crazy hot or crazy cold, depending on the season. But otherwise, for conservation of energy, they're really great. Okay. Oh, thanks, Max, for the super chat. Uh, what are your thoughts on that red thermos with the handle? Oh, okay. So, these two thermoses are essentially the same thing. One thank has a handle. You so, thank you so much, Max. All thank you for super chat. She's <laughs> really good with the thanking for the super chat. Yeah, I'm going to put in milk. Can you see? Yeah, yeah you can see them. I, I, I thought I, mommy's phone and I, I look at it. So these ones, I think they, they keep them hot and cold really well in our test. They were, they were fine. The opening of the lid, it seems like it's relatively leak proof. Um, when we were putting them upside down, they didn't leak. But I, I mean, I would put it in like my, my sports bag or something like that where I didn't mind if it leaked on something, but I wouldn't put it in my bag with my wallet. I don't think I have that quite that amount of trust in it. Because I mean you can just something in your bag could hit this and open it up by accident, right? So I don't know how much I would trust it from getting hit by something else. Um, this is incredibly I mean, this is really heavy with the handle. So if if you really need the handle, get the handle, but otherwise I would go handle less. Um, yeah, it was fine to drink from with our test machine because there's two openings for the drink. So it was fine to drink from. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind. I just, um, you know, so the reason I chose 
the Yeti, even though I think the Yeti's probably heavier than this one. Or, no, they're both heavy. Um, the reason I use the Yeti is because it's simpler. Um, so with this lid here, there's just this magnet that comes off. You see? So it, it's really easy to clean. So I like that better. And it's easier to drink from too because it's just one open, um, but it's, it's not a travel one. So if you're trying to get this red one here, or this black one, um, okay, I was gonna show you, see like this part here, it's, it's, it's just harder to clean, honestly. And there's a tea bag holder, but it, all the reviews I saw of it, people are saying like, what's the point of having this little tea bag holder? And it's actually quite heavy. You don't realize that until you put, lift it. So it's really big, but it's only 470 milliliters. Whoa. So I was kind of surprised at how big this thing is, but it doesn't hold that much for the size. So, but then again, I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. So if you like, I mean, I think it's kind of, I kind of like the style, honestly, of this, like the look of it. Um, so it does do the hot and cold really well. The lid's fine, totally fine. It's more spill proof than like a Yeti or the thermos that I use. But the capacity, I'm just surprised it's a bit low. Yeah. Uh, okay. The one for 100 degrees weather you can't find on the Amazon website. Um, it's, I have the links in the description for that those versions, um, and you might not be able to find them in the States. They might just be a Japanese thing. Oh, thank you, John, John uh, G, he, some, John G or something. Thank you to Subo Chat. Thank yeah, you. Uh, what do you say? John? John G. Yeah. Oh, John G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have we peaked in thermos technology? I actually think we kind of um, are really close to it. I mean, you don't really... I mean, I, th I think for scientific equipment, they, scientific equipment, they probably have better versions or more like thermally insulated ones. Um, but you don't really need it. Like with this, which model am I looking at now? Where are you? Like, these will keep your ice all day. So, or keep it hot all day. Like what else more do you need? Um, this one's the best though I found for heat. Um, it was incredible how long it would keep it for, and it's this type of design. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, so the signage on the body, um, this thing comes off, actually, this label, as well as this label as well. I just kept them on so you can see how they were packaged, but you actually take these off, so it's not as loud as it looks. Um, Yeti containers, I, I'd like, I was actually, so in Japan, Yetis are really expensive. This was like 5,500 yen. The only reason I bought it was for this, this video, uh, and I'm keeping it. Uh, I think it's a little more reasonably priced in the U.S., like 30 U.S. Um, yeah. If you bought a bunch of these for the videos, oh, it's just for the video. Yeah. Um, I've bought thermoses in the past and I naturally whittled my way down to this version of the Zosirushi as, as the one I use for my, um, cold drinks. Um, so we're going to donate to a homeless organization that we've worked with before to make videos. And, um, also some friends and family who happen to need some thermoses. Uh, but yeah, I just bought them for the video. I don't actually need all these thermoses. Um... I want to see you drink from each one of them and, and, ra and rank them based on your experience. Um, well, I'm purposely actually not drinking from these because I'm giving them away. We did water test where we drank and I cleaned them really thoroughly. Um, but we just only put water in all of them for the testing purposes. Um, but I think I, I've, I've said it several times that this Zosu, she would be my, my favorite for any hot or cold drinks. Although with dairy, because of the ease of, it, they're not hard to clean these things. You can take out all the parts really easily. Like that's all the parts. But 
I think I'd rather go for design that's a little bit, um, it has a silicon, in, or not silicon, it's um, like a Teflon inside too, which makes it easy to clean. But I would go for a different model probably if I was going to drink a lot of dairy products on the go. Because at home, I just go for like something like this or something like the Yeti. Um, da -da 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 -da. The Zoshi Rushi bottles, dishwasher safe, probably, what I heard about in a lot of reviews is sometimes they'll say they're not dishwasher safe, but that's just because the outside might get, like, um, chipped and stuff, like you see here. Um, but I think that's usually why they say they're not dishwasher safe. I don't even own a dishwasher, so that's never been a concern of mine. Oh, thanks, Seven, for the super chat donation. Um, plan a family vacation deciding <laughs> which which of their two dozen thermoses would be optimal to bring. Um, I'm just a big proponent of anything with the case. <laughs> oh, dropped my couple bottles. You probably heard that. Sorry. So a case like this, you can get this. This is a thermos case, actually. And the reason I like that is because there's a bottom that you can... It goes solid, solidly on the ground. An so. I vent and so, so what is that? Seven? Seven? Is that seven? Yeah, seven, yeah. Yeah, seven and I vent. Thank you to Super Irvin, Chat. Irvin. Oh, Irvin. Yeah. Thank you to Super Chat. Okay, I'll answer Irvin's question in just a sec. But yeah, it can go on the ground. But something that annoyed me is that I actually don't like having this top on here. Um, so I wish I could take it off, but you can't. Um, but the other, the good thing is that it has straps, so it's easy for a vacation to just like put around your neck, but you can actually take these straps off, which you can't do on all bottle containers, so it's probably easier than I'm showing right now. What am I doing? Oh, okay. I know what I'm doing right now. There you go. Sorry, I just had the way to take it off wrong. Um, so without the strap, then it's a little bit less in your way if you want to put it on your desk or something or any type of surface. So I would just recommend getting a, this is a thermos bottle. I don't even think I have a link for it in, in the description, unfortunately. Maybe we'll add it later on. But um, yeah, anything that you can put in a case. And then what I actually do is I use, like put these in like in a backpack or something just to keep it with um, like nice icy cold water or hot drinks, then I refill the smaller one with it, right? So, because this one's kind of unwieldy to walk around with, I think, too big. Uh, A7S3, yes, I am getting two of them and I'm selling my cameras, so. Okay, let me clear just a few of these off. Seven, seven people are saying that Use this money to buy the milk tea. <laughs> Use money to buy milk tea? Okay, yeah. great. Thank you, Seven. Huh? Thank you, Seven. Oh. We'll have a milk tea review video one day. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, so. Oh. I have... Why is he saying that? It says like, you're quite rough. Why is he saying? He says Amazon. Wow, $35 for a 10-ounce Yeti? I'm literally, that's crazy. Okay. What is this purple guy saying, Daddy? Uh, what is the name of the cleaning product you used in the other video? Is it available on Amazon? Oh. It's um, it's in the description, the link, but it's apparently it's hard to buy overseas. So these are two A7-3s, and I'm actually selling them both for the A7-S-3s. Um, and the reason I am doing that is because, you see this mic here? It will be able to go digitally through on the A7-S-3, so a lot better audio quality. So I won't have to use any mic ports anymore. You can actually get a special different version to have shotgun mics on top and you have no record time limit anymore overheating overheating issues are largely solved the screen can actually rotate to the side which is really handy um, you can film finally 4k 60 frames per second or even 120 frames per second so those are the big ones why I'm getting the a7s3s um, yeah so that's the answer to that a7S3 question. Um, I go sleeping, I think. <laughs> e -d 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 -d. Cut off the zipper and restitch. Yeah, I've thought about that, but I 
Yeah, I think it's just too much of a hassle because if I don't want to carry it around, I just have this one. So I, I constantly switch between those two cases, um, this case and this case, <laughs> depending on how I want to use it. I've worked the system out. Um, oh, COVID cases. I'm talking about lots of cases and you're talking about <laughs> COVID. Uh, COVID is just, it's increasing in Japan. Uh, it's worse than it was before during the state of emergency. Yet they're not calling a state of emergency, but you're not supposed to leave Tokyo. Uh, let's see here. Hydroplask. Um, yeah, I'm donating all these things, so don't worry. Um, yes, it's a type of, it, I don't think it's exactly Teflon, but it's, it chemically is pretty similar to Teflon. And um, from, I think I was reading the wire cutter about this, like the amount of Teflon you're, I don't think you have to worry about any safety with the Teflon in there. So, uh, but you can look up Teflon and see. Oh, and daddy, what like drama or something, like what you watch at like TV? Yeah, what do I watch on TV? I watch Yokai Watch and Pokemon, uh, Pokemon sometimes, and like some animes. That's what you watches. Yeah. Okay, um, no, they're not doing online school. They are going to school regularly, and they are going to be going back in one week. So they only had two weeks spring break. Um, what percentage of kids adopted from Japan? I don't know much about the adoption in Japan. I just feel like it's not quite as popular a thing in Japan as it is in uh, North America. Yeah. Okay. Shin's favorite Pokemon. I'll be ending the chat in like five minutes, I think. Oh, the Pokemon a... I like? Yeah. Oh, I like Pokemon. It is, I like uh, Nukeni, a Pokemon called. What's like, only he has one HP, but uh, if he don't have like uh, his, he don't like like a type, mm -hmm. like fire and stuff. If except those type attack, he won't be damaged. What's the, the name of him again? Nukeni. Nukeni. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know Nukeni. I I don't know Pokemon. So if you guys know Nukeni, you can let me know. Wait, wait, wait. Under shot. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. My wife says that there's someone who's adopted. Okay. Um. Mm. Citizen? No, I don't plan on becoming a citizen because I have permanent residency and I'm a citizen in Canada, so if I have to get citizenship in Japan, I would have to give up my citizenship oh, in Canada. So, no plans for that. This is a Pokemon I like. It's New Kenny. Oh, Shin, here, hold that up a little oh, longer. Okay, okay, just a final few questions here. Ah, this is hard to see. Yeah, I'm down to it. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, impressed by the sheer distance of bike ride. Thank you. Uh, do I regularly bike or exercise? I do some running, but I, I'm not like a long distance runner. Like I do like 10k runs. Um, so it was actually much easier than I thought it would be. It, the the key thing is to pace yourself. If you pace yourself, it's surprisingly fine. <laughs> Um, okay, you're a doctor from Suzuka. Cool. Uh, my job, do I have a regular job? My job now is YouTube, thankfully. And, uh, John, collab with John Dobb. We'll probably have something someday. Uh, coronavirus is making that a little tricky, though. Um, let's see. Oh, bicycle documentary made by Andrew. Andrew's a friend of mine. Yeah, I did see his bike, but it's a long time ago he made it, right? Like a decade ago or something? It's a really long time ago. Um, let's see here. How much, I don't know how the thermos washer worked. Uh, people were thinking, thinking about it in the chat before, so I'm not too sure. Have I taken the JLPT test? No, I haven't because it's just, I don't need it for anything, so why do those strict tests? I've been focusing more on, on speaking, um, but I, I'm apparently I'm probably 
I could probably pass GLPT3 and then start studying for GLPT2. That's kind of where I'm at-ish is what I hear um, from a Japanese teacher. But um, who knows? I might take it just for fun one day. But I don't study a lot of... Yeah, I need to study more. But I, I've actually improved, but I still suck. <laughs> uh, I don't plan on live streaming that much. I just don't find I'm very good with live stream. Thanks, Ferran, for the um, super chat. And... Um, um. One. Chris Broad shouted me on his podcast. Thank oh, you for super I didn't know. chat from what one? One? Friend. Friend. Yeah. I don't know. Why did Chris Broad shut me out? Yeah. He makes good videos. Um never seen Jeff Anology. Yeah, I've seen them. So yeah. <laughs> uh Ramen Worker. So COVID situation for him. He's still very, very busy. He only has nine seats, and everybody's facing one direction, and he opens all the doors open and has, like, all these fans. So it's not, um, I guess it's probably more corona-safe than other locations. And I, I like this Pokemon to symbol. I'm trying to get mm. the different color one at Pokemon Sealed. Okay. Um, so yeah, the ramen store owner, he's doing actually totally fine during coronavirus. Um, yeah, I'm going to answer Julian's question and then, uh, I'll have to go. Uh, next milestones you're looking forward with this channel, with the X channel? Um, honestly, I'm just using it like I'm as an extra stuff right now. That's probably what I'm doing before I had other visions for what I was going to do, but, um, yeah, it's just for extra content that, um, and the reason for that nowadays is because with the main channel, it's got like over a million subs. And so with the algorithm and how it works, if you put out videos that aren't as popular, then it, um, it shows like, Oh, people aren't watching your video and then they recommend your videos less. And then you end up getting a lot less people. So, for topics that you don't think would be as interesting to the general public, if I put it on the X channel, then I can still make content that I want to make, but then I'll, I don't have to worry about how it performs or anything. Like, I don't worry about anything, about anything doing well on the X channel. So that's why I put it there. So I'll kind of just keep my creativity. Um, okay, I think, yeah, yeah that's, that's it. I gotta go. I'm getting hungry, even though it's only 11 o'clock a.m. I, I eat early, so. Um, anyways, thanks everyone for joining me. Thanks for everyone who did the, the super chats and, um, thanks for listening to me ramble on about all the thermoses. I wanted to do a live chat because I'm getting rid, uh, I'm donating these thermoses so I wouldn't have never have a chance to talk about them again. Um, so I just kind of wanted to get that out there <laughs> and finish my thermos era. All right. Have a good one guys.